It's a nice drawing, isn't it? We're going to talk about design now. Now, the process of design is very much the same since the days of Snow White. It's still figured out using paper and pencils and pens and paints before we do anything on the computer. And for our movie, we've assembled a great team of very talented artists that have created a very unique look for Monsters Incorporated. One of the most exciting things on this movie was that we did get to create this world from scratch. I mean, nobody knows what a world where monsters live in might look like. There have been a lot of different interpretations of it through time, but we had an opportunity to create a really unique, original vision of a monster world. And it was a lot of fun because in computer graphics, we have to create every last little detail, every prop, every building down to the tiniest detail. So somebody has to think about all those details and it was great fun to think them all up and to create a world that not only looked cool, but made sense. That was one of the criteria, was to have some re relatable uh, connection to our world. And also, if it's gonna be designed this way for the monsters, there has to be a real reason for it. We have to really kind of think it out as opposed to, this looks neat. We kind of um, wound up thinking of Monstropolis as kind of almost a parallel universe with the human world. Uh, that at first glance, it, it looks like a regular city. It's not uh, so bizarre that you can't figure out what it is, but you, we really wanted to relate that they live in a happy place, uh, a bustling, exciting place. They're all going to work, and that the whole world is designed for monsters. So they've done this hilarious thing of showing, you know, doors that have multiple doors or multiple handles on everything. and. But it's also one of those things, it's, it's just part of the world. Sully's chair in our movie has a big hole in the back of it. Why does it have a hole in the back of it? For his tail to go through. And they have a lot of different physical requirements. They, the buildings were uh, super reinforced with cast iron and steel and brick. Uh, the other was uh, in the Monsters, Inc., the factory. Uh, we really wanted it to look like it was a working factory. We tried to communicate in the uh, the factory design itself, that there were areas for the executives and for the union workers and for the people that clean up. So e each character had its sort of home base. And I think that's what makes it so, so um, special, this world, because it's believable. Everything that we do as far as the story, the characters, and the world, it's believable to the audience. So it's all those little details that we thought up that really make this world a really rich, exciting one to look at again and again. Hi, we're here in the animation area. This is where the animators work. They're the people, they're basically the actors of this whole process, and they're the ones that create those memorable performances that you see on the screen. What you're going to see next is a progression of one shot as it goes from story reels, then to layout, animation, final shaders, and lighting. We start with hand-drawn drawings by somebody's hand, Bob Peterson in this case, and we're going to see them for the first time in a story reel and see how the whole scene times out. We're rehearsing uh, a scene for the upcoming company play called uh, Put That Thing Back Where It Came From or So Help Me. <laughs> it's a musical. <laughs> yeah. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. So help me, so help me, and cut. <laughs> Once we're happy with the story reels, we move on into layout. That's where we determine the compositions and the visual structure of the movie. We work with little virtual sets with a virtual camera and we figure out how the camera's going to move and basically do everything that we can to make the film very visually dynamic. And <laughs> cut. Uh, in this part of the progression reel, I'm going to talk a little bit about animation. Leia basically provide us with a blueprint of how the shot will work. Uh, what we're concerned with is bringing the characters to life. First thing we do, we listen to the dialogue of the uh, actors portraying these characters again and again and again. We listen to it hundreds of times, trying to figure out what the right gestures, what the right performance for the shot should be. Some animators just sit at their desk and act it out like madmen. Uh, other animators use video reference, they'll videotape themselves acting it out just to get clear in their own minds what the performance should be. The last thing we do is work on the character's face. Um, and we find that if we can communicate an idea through pantomime using Sully's entire body, when we finally go into the face, we're really only plussing something that's already working. We're rehearsing uh, a scene for the upcoming company play called uh, Put That Thing Back Where It Came From or So Help Me. <laughs> it's a musical. <laughs> yeah, put that thing back where it came from or so help me. So help me, so help me, and cut. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the next step is when the shot leaves animation and comes into the shots department. And in particular for this shot, we're going to be simulating Sullivan's fur. It's an important part. It's a part of Sullivan's look to put all that fur on it. But most importantly, simulation is really where we're adding um, the overlapping action in the animation. So we're really breathing an additional amount of life into that character um, by having that fur reacting to the motion. The hair there is really flouncing in reaction. It adds a lot of life. Um, it really conveys his emotion of being bouncy in that scene. After the animation is final, we still have to add the shaders, which is the textures and the colors, basically, and the lighting, which is the shadows and the depth. It's only after these shaders and lighting is finished that the film looks like what you see in the theater. And here it is. We're rehearsing uh, a scene for the upcoming company play called uh, Put That Thing Back Where It Came From or So Help Me. <laughs> it's a musical. Yeah. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. So help me, so help me, and cut. <laughs> Guys. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. How's it going? How are you? Good, good, good to see you. How's the tour going? Oh, we're doing well. Fantastic. Look at really? that, we're done. Yeah. You're done oh, yeah. already? That's great. We showed great. them around the whole building. And really? Talked about the movie and went from, through all the steps. Yeah, from film. a story animation to to the finished film. film. Yeah. yeah, I think it, they had yeah. a great time. It's in the can. Have a great Come on. time. Bye, John. Okay. See you later. See you. Bye. Bye. See you later. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. We had a good time showing you around. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Now stick around because after we leave, you're going to see a bunch of doors. Now these doors don't have any markings or words on them, but you still might want to check them out. Right. Big surprises. Bye. Thanks so very much. Bye now.